warmth. All right, well, the cold can do a number on you and your car as well. I want to bring back Lauren Fix uh, and some of the things to prep your car, especially when it's so cold. You're in Buffalo where you're going to be dealing with the cold as well. We talk about, oh, yeah. you know, we talked about the batteries and things. What about if you have a garage? If you don't have a garage, uh, is it smart to invest in an engine heater? Absolutely. You can buy an engine heater either online, which is a little late for that, or you can go to your favorite auto parts store or big box store that has an auto parts section. If you're in Minnesota or Wisconsin, you already know what that is. The Canadians have been using them for years. It's a heated blanket that goes over your engine and you plug it in. Of course, you need to have a power source nearby. Also, if you've got an engine block heater, now's the time to use it. If you haven't used it, you know, look in your owner's manual and get proper directions. And what about stuff in your car, like the electronics? We know the electronics don't like the cold. What about them? No, you certainly don't want to leave like laptops and computers or uh, phones. Of course, you probably wouldn't leave your phone in the car. But if you do and you go in somewhere, and like you said, you were showing coffee after an hour, imagine the damage you can do to electronics. So really, you don't want to leave things like bottles of water and medication because it can change its compound. So the smartest thing to do is take anything of any value out of the vehicle because it can get damaged. All right, Lauren Fix, always appreciate your tips. Always so interesting, especially on these kinds of topics. And you can find more about the car coach on the web at laurenfix.com. And Lawrence, uh, Lauren, say warm. All right, well, yoga to be kidding. Yoga to be kidding, right? We'll show you how these Russian women are using the snow and cold temperatures to zen out.